In today's video, I quit drinking. First and foremost, I did not fucking quit. I am not a quitter. There's my captain. Second of all, I'm gonna make this video short because it's getting dark, it's raining, and my deer should be coming in. They very coincidentally come right past my shooting range, right past my tree stand into the deer, I mean squirrel feeder. Back to the video. Uh, so this is the world's cheapest shotgun. I actually, the, the hardware store down the road has the same one for $94.95. I sprang the extra $20 for the wood furniture. And I think it was the right choice. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, so it was $120, $129, $127, something that was cheap. So I kind of I, I I did this series years ago where I just shot random stuff out. It was awesome. I'll, I'll try to put a link for any new subscribers because it was actually, I don't want to toot my own horn, but it was pretty cool. We did a lot of awesome stuff with it we shot a foam mail part out of there we had a dial rod through there and a foam mail part there like kind of like a gay grappling hook or something it's kind of cool so what we're going to do here today i was uploading some youtube shorts some of you guys probably seen them uh just messing around we're gonna get to the nuts and guts of it all where are my nuts oh my my nuts are still in pat. <laughs> so, we have some fluted nails. We have some masonry nails. Some screws. Some staples. And some skittles. I actually want to see what the skittles do to a water jug. And then, we brought the newsmakers. Because, if for some reason something goes bad, and we make the news, this needs to be in there. So, what I'm going to do, I'll show you real quick. Then we'll just get into shooting. So what I do, if you have, someone asks me why, what's the point? And I'm like, yes. Yes. <laughs> so I don't know, if you have a bunch of bird shot, just whack the top off, dump the BBs out. Maybe you can make it more deadly. I don't know. All I'm doing is just doing this for fun because it's fun fucking. If you have a problem with somebody, let's just say, theoretically, they owe you money, okay, and they refuse to fucking pay. Man, you take a skittle shot to the rear end at a thousand feet per second, you might pay that guy back. Just saying. Uh, so yeah, I'm just goofing around. This is just for fun, just to see what we can do. So the wads in there. I'm gonna put a piece of paper in there. That paper really seals it up. And if you really wanted to, you could load them in there, crimp them, or put them down the barrel like I've been doing, and just put another piece of paper in there. Someone else says, like, dude, you're going to blow, a couple people said, you're going to blow your hand off. It's like, brother, you do realize we had muzzle loaders before modern firearms. That's how you load them. Uh, here, I either leave the barrel open or the safety on. This actually does have a safety. I don't think my other one does. And it has a hammer. Like, there's no way it's going to go off. But, yeah, be careful, obviously. You know, I still have all my hands, fingers. So, yeah, let me quit talking here. Let's get set up and just try a couple different things here. So check this out guys. I was filming the intro. I just found some old 9mm brass. That's the wad in there. Wad made it through, but the 9mm brass also made it in there. So you can use the empty aluminum casings. Cool. Alright, so next up, I really want to see what these Skittles does to <laughs> kind of funny green tea. Get it green tea. Let's see what it does. Okay, we're back a few feet here, probably at least a good 15 feet. So I'm going to add a little bit more than I normally do just to see. Oh, this is bad. All right, I'll throw the rest of my mouth here. Man, talking about eating ammo. These prices of ammo are ridiculous. Let's see what she does. Well, she got her. Nom, 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 nom. So I think the spread was pretty impressive. Did you got the back? No. But there you go, man. People owe you money. You get an full of Skittles. Oh, yeah. So she's raining good. But we will see what these fluted nails does to the book. 
Okay, we got about six or nine hardened fluted nails. It's Barks fly. Like I said, they're hardened nails. And they actually had a lot of recoil to it. I probably had more than that. I had like... <laughs> I don't know. See if you guys... Oh, you can a little bit. They spun down there and like dug like rifling in the barrel. That's so funny, man. <laughs> So yeah, dude, them nails, they were no joke. They tore all the way through there. All of them key weight, except for that one, maybe. <laughs> if you get them things to fly straight, if you would put them in, like, wax so they all stay straight, there's one. That's funny. If you put them in wax or glue, there's one backwards. Right through her head. <laughs> what is it reading about the books, dude? Oh, that's funny. I mean, it, that was devastating. If you would have them all lined up and glued in place, they would probably... I'm going to try that. We'll make that in a different one. Let's try some of the masonry nails and see what they do. Okay, so I got five masonry nails in there. Let's see what they do. Oh, wow. Huh. So that was pretty interesting. Check the barrel. Oof, oof. Not the best. All right, so you can see I took this a normal birdshot shell and I turned it into something packing one fuck of a hit. And the recoil on that thing was impressive, obviously, because, and that's only birdshot. You could load them in magnums too and really get some oomph. There's a hard nail. They just dusted that book, man. That had some serious hitting power. <laughs> Like, that's what I mean. So, instead of bird shot, it, oof, oof, right here's a nail. That's one of them hardened nails. Oh, right here's the masonry nail stuck in the mason. <laughs> so, that's pretty cool. There's another one down there. Definitely can't drive the quad up here no more. Huh. All right. Okay, for the last shot, I got a bunch of staples in here. They're pretty light. I don't see him doing much. Old Captain, he's pretty close down there. So let's go ahead and see what the staples do. I've seen sparks fly out the end of the barrel again. Let's see how... <laughs> oh, hey, Captain rolled right back to us. <laughs> She's looking a little rough. Not too bad, though. Literally, the captain rolled it and hit my foot. <laughs> That's convenient. So she shredded her. Oh, look, there's a bunch of staples stuck right there. So focus, 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 please focus. Focus! Right, just trust me, there's staples there. The wads in there, too. So that's it, guys. What did you think? In your honest opinions, uh, right there, I could reuse them. I could pound them into some concrete, some wood. I got my nut back. Well, staples there. Ah. So what do you guys think? What do you think of the hundred dollar blunderbuss? It's a lot of fun. I cannot stress this enough. Do not do this at home. It's like or be careful because what my last one blew up. I blew it up intentionally. I knew it was gonna pop. But if you get something stuck in that barrel and you have enough gunpowder in there, it will blow the fuck up. My last one I had about Oh man, it was like a half a pound of powder. Probably about two pounds of BBs. I knew she was going to blow. Boy, did she blow. <laughs> so, uh, you know, be, I wouldn't do it. Maybe put some kind of guard or put it on a string, you know, lead sled and a string. But you can see, man, it's pretty devastating. I think probably more devastating than birdshot. But I guess what, let me know what, you, what else you want me to do with it. So, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate you. Catch you next one.